<laughs> okay, today uh, we are going to do a Katniss braid in honor of Hunger Games being released this week. Now Katniss has long hair, but she has bangs in the front, and Ashlyn doesn't have any bangs, so I won't do hers with bangs. But if you have bangs, you're going to want to leave some bangs hanging down on both sides. And also hers is kind of messy, so I'm not going to use anything to smooth it down above and beyond what her hair already is because Katniss is, is kind of messy. So we're going to start, hers is a, a Dutch braid that wraps around her head. And we're going to start it a little ways back. And the Dutch braid is just a reverse of a regular French braid. So instead of going over the hair, I'm going to come under the hair. Okay, so I'm going to start out just coming under for the first part. Okay. Then, like a regular French braid, you pick up a section of hair, and instead of taking it over, you take it under. Here we go again, here's a section of hair, and I'm going to take it under the middle piece instead of over it. Okay, we're just going to work our way down. Her braid looks like it comes down quite low around the base of her hair. So we're going to kind of work our way down here and then we'll start twisting it. We'll start twisting it as we go also, but So just little sections, keep them wrapped underneath as you go. And this is also called sometimes a reverse French braid. So see we brought that, I brought that all the way down to kind of get towards the bottom. And again, her, if you want it to look exactly like hers, hers is quite messy. So here we go. Now I'm just going to finish this up. Now hers also, let me just slide around this way. It kind of covers her ear. I'm going to leave this loose as I finish it up. And then just finish braiding it down, tucking it underneath as you go. And you can kind of pull that out a little bit. And again, if you have bangs, then leave some bangs out like that. And there is a braid similar to the one that Katniss wears in the Hunger Games. 